everybody. Welcome back to Top 5 Skyrim Mods of the Week. This week, I'm joined by Seb. Hello, Seb. Hello, Cam. Okay, this week is... We've got five fantastic mods, and this first mod, I'm going to say, might be the best we've shown for a number of weeks. It's so bloody awesome. So our first mod of today is called Polymorphy, right. and it is a thing of wonder. Now, when you boot up the mod, let me just show you. Uh, let's go to my powers. When, when you boot the mod for the first time, you get these five uh, morph into form ones and these five set form. So it's a bit confusing, but what you want to do, let's, we're just going to use one just now. All so right. set, uh, make set form one in your left hand and um, add morph into form one as your kind of shout key, as your power. What this spell does, polymorphy, what this mod does, is it allows you to morph into things. For example, how, haven't you always wanted to be a horker, Seb? I think I've dreamt about that before, yeah. yeah. Let's be this guy, so zap him. He's gonna get a bit annoyed about that, but we'll run away. And then let's pan the camera out. Hit your shout button. Oh no. Oh no, oh no! We are now a horker! Oh Cam, what have you done? This is fantastic! Fight! Fight! Do it! Hit him! I think you're winning. Yes! This this is a game changer, Cam. Yes. This is a game changer. Oh god, his friends are coming in. And if at any time you're like, alright, I'm done being a horker, hit your shout button. Kablamo! Yeah, come around Norda's back. And we are out of here. It was like that time that you were battling for the females. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, you, that's what you do in Scotland, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Seb, I have one question for you. Yeah. What do you want to be? Um, I would like to be a giant. Oh, God. Is, that, is that a thing we can do? I did say any living thing, Seb. But let's be a snow bear first and kill this snow bear. Punch that guy. Yeah. Uh, right in the face. That's where it hurts most. And, like, it's, it's kind of seamless. Like, I'm a bear, and it just works. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be a fox. So as soon as it goes red, you know you've morphed and... Oh, where's he gone? Oh, Cam. Oh, I think we've... we've it just our first, works. We've carried our first glitch. It just works. All right, I've zapped a giant. He's floating. His animations have gone a bit weird. I've noticed... I think that happened last last time. I'm a bloody giant, Sam. Yeah, but you don't have a club. And he's walking weirdly. Oh. You don't have a club. <laughs> I can oh, still, punch still him. hit him. Now, this, sprint, is the, sprint. this is the fastest I can go. <laughs> Are you holding the sprint key? I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his legs are a little bit uh, weird. No, no. It's fine. It's a long, giant form. Oops, it's wrong. Wrong one. way. Well, at least we'll have someone to fight when we become Run. a mammoth. Run away, Kevin Van. Oh, sugar. What have I done, man? Nice work. There he is. I'm a mammoth now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mammoth again. Holy crap. This is fantastic. While in more form, combat is AI driven. To attack, approach. Oh. A hostile target, and you will attack automatically. Some more forms are incorrect. Uh, I will try and morph into a Draga Death Lord. I only become a normal Draga, for example. This ruins all other mods that we've ever done, where it's like, look at me, I can transform into this one thing, and now yeah, it's like, hey, Let's look, into everything. I can transform into everything. <laughs> the courier is just giving me a note. <laughs> My hands only. I'm a mammoth. I have no hands. I'm just going to wander across the tundra until we find something. Maybe like a saber cap. Or like a sweet. will o the wisp or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, or a spriggan. That'd be cool. A salmon. Be a salmon. All right. Salmon. Salmon time. Fish. What, what's fish. that? Be, be a fish. Go on. Go. I need, I need to get. Yeah, you're up. a slaughter fish. I oh, know. I need to. Yes. All right. Let's be a fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, a, we're a fish, Seb. We're a fish. Yeah. Oh, I'm being attacked by another fish. Oh, no. Oh, mud oh, crab. No, mud crab. Your mortal enemy. Ah! <laughs> Let's see if we can go on land. Yes! What on earth? I'm a flying fish. <laughs> oh dear. What have we this done? This is it. We have made Skyrim the ultimate game. Screw being a dragon. We're... Let's fly around like a <laughs> slaughterfish. <laughs> this is us, Seb. Look at Kevin Van Nord. He's beautiful. Oh god, he oh! just fell. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where's he gone? He's, oh, so, so he's, he's there. He's fine. He he's fell. fine. Why did you fall? Hang on. Oh, he's falling again. He's, oh crap! Oh, oh crap! crap. That's, a bear's gonna eat you. Fish don't like to be on land. Let's see if we can attack a bear. Fight the bear. I think you're gonna win. I can't. I can't see where I've gone. No, no, you're winning. There you go. Fly up, up. No, I don't think you can fly anymore. Why can't I think I fly you've lost anymore? the power of flight? <laughs> here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. That is one scan dragon. Yep. <clears throat> put your put your stuff away. 
All right, here we go. Be a dragon. Be a dragon. Get excited. Yes. 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 We are a dragon. Can we fly, though? I don't know. I don't know. I just seem to be walking. I think it's because we need to sort of zoom out. We're, we're too close. Yeah, I can't. This is the, the limits of my zoom. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be possible to fly. We are a, a groundy dragon. That's still pretty cool, though. Cam, I like this mod. Yeah. I like this mod very much. That's definitely a chicken. Yeah. And we are definitely a we chicken. We are definitely a chicken in this, Skyrim. This was an inevitability. Why, why did we not initially think of doing this? So now we need to go find someone who's going to fight us. Okay. Here we go. Come on, explode. Please explode. Kill us. Kill us like you really want to. It'd be so good if we Delicious explode. chicken meat. It'd be so good if we explode. Go on. Come on, explode. 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 Oh. No. What? Did we kill him? No. We just died. That oh, was a oh, 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 oh. What? We are three chickens. How did that happen? I don't know. Sam, I broke the mod. I hit it three times when I had three chickens. Oh, no. Oh, what have we done? I'm three chickens again. Four no, chickens. Four. And, and a mud, and a mud crab. crab. And another mud crab. <laughs> oh, Sam, I think, I think I've killed it. This is amazing. We've broken it. We've broken it. All right, Seb, time for mod number two for today, which is immersive armors. All right. This adds a whole load of new armors to the game. Now, right now, you can see Kevin Van Nord is dressed in these robes, kind of dull. Let's give him some new threads. Now, you've got all your standard ones, but if you come all the way down to auxiliary armors, which will be a new thing when you install this mod, and you've got a whole bunch. Let me just scroll through so you can see the Whoa. number of armors here. There is a button of new armors to be had. This is this is enjoyed. This is too many armors. Look, almost. We can't showcase them all. You're absolutely right. Whoa, are these uh, are these custom made or are these just taken from other characters? Custom like NPCs made, custom and made, and um, they kind of they draw from a whole load of different mods, I think. Mm. So you got like Viking heavy armor. So that's quite cool. That's very cool. Uh, Vanguard armor. Oh, that's, oh, I like that's that. awesome. That's pretty pimp. Damn, Cam, these are really good. All right, let's craft this runic spellbinder armor. All right, let's craft something else. We'll try right, it on in a sea bit. Dog, sea dog, sea dog, sea dog. Sea dog armor. Yeah. Hedge knight armor. Ooh, I like this. Let's try Let's try hedge knight armor as well. All right. Witch plate looks awesome. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try witch plate then. God, but there's so many. There's so many. Yeah, go on. Let's, let's rock samurai. See okay, how we look. Let's try these as well. So I think we've got five to try on. Let's start with the samurai, as I said at the top. That looks pretty pimpy. Yeah, like that. <laughs> We need Nakavari swords to go with it. All right. All right. Like we like that. Yeah. What else we got? Um, heavy witch plates. That's pretty sweet. It's uh, kind of like steel armor with with a little bit of blue. Yeah, it's all right. It. It's all right. It's not. I don't really like the spikes on the gauntlets. They look a bit weird. No, I like the spikes. It just feels okay. like it needs to be heavier. It looks a bit light. All right. Here's Hedge Knight. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's really heavy armored now. That's cool. I like Hedge Knight. Yep. Here's a runic spellbinder. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I really that's like that. Sick. And with the helmet off, that totally works as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good. Oh, man. Kevin Van Nord the Pirate. Yeah. He's even got a bottle of mead or a bottle of rum. Yeah. <laughs> so which which one is your favorite? I like the Pirate, and I think I also like the um, the one that we did right before. Runic Spellbinder. Runic Spellbinder. So we, should we rock that for yeah. the rest of the stream? But now? I patch on and cape on as well. Like this, you mean? Yes. It kind of works with the cape in a it weird totally way. It totally works with the cape. Mod number three is called Firebane Bows, and as we are at the Skyforge, let's uh, let's stay here and make these guys. Now, I believe them to be in steel. All right, let's make some of these Firebane things. So we got uh, Firebane arrows, which we should craft. Firebane right. bow. Um, so there's basically six bows. Because you got fire, ice, and then water, and you've got like a you got the arrows as well for each, and you've also all got right. a bane and a blight version. So, all right, I've made them all. So it's, it's basically six new bows for you to use, and let's uh, let's have a look at them. Fire bane bows by Blue uh, is on the Steam Workshop, and it says this is a new bow series that has been created to add more bows to the game, which have additional abilities. Now other weapons are replaced by the two new bows that have full crafting recipes. 
The bows have an extended range as well as the ability oh. to cause the target to burst into flames, slash, or ice on death. Nice. That's pretty cool. So I think from what we've seen here, it looks like the bane, the, the, the type of arrow we use, Yeah. the bane is obviously the bane of ice. Yeah, Therefore, fire. which is why it's fire. So let's try the fire bane, which should be ice. Oh, we have, wait, we also have water bane. I wonder I'm keen to see what water... Let's try water bane. Here we okay. go. Here's water bane arrows. Oh, it's like uh, lightning. It's ah, clever. I see. That's kind of cool. I want to see the. Uh, I want to see the firebane ones. I okay. See the... Whoops. What what oh, you've just turned into a, a hawker. <laughs> of course. Whoops. So firebane arrows you want to see? Yeah. So was that all of them? Was it firebane, ice bane, and water bane? Yeah. So there's three arrow sets. The bows, uh, as you say, have their own stats, but the biggest difference seems to be which oh. arrows you use. So that's nice. Nice. These briar hearts are pretty tough, though. They are tough. Not too tough for Kevin Van Nord with his icy firebane arrows. All right, well, that was firebane arrows. And uh, I think that is quite a nice mod, especially if you want some new bows, if you enjoy using bows. Like when I, whenever I play Skyrim, I do wind up being an archer, like when I play yeah. properly, because just like being, being stealthy and picking people off. I mean, these aren't the stealthiest of arrows, but they're still pretty damn well, cool. Well, the, uh, the arrows are pretty, pretty sweet. I think the arrows is the best bit. Yeah. Okay, mod number four is called Lost Wonders of Mazark. And this is a quest mod that, again, we're just going to kind of show you the very beginning of because it's it's very popular right now on the Skyrim Nexus. Right. And to start it, you have to come here to Mazar Nemez. This is intense. Mazar Nemez. Mazar Nemez. What is this? It's a big Dwemer thingy. Yeah. It's like a Dwemer laser cannon. That must be <laughs> what it is. Wow, on a boat. Uh huh. All right. Let's um. Let's go ahead inside. In the docks of the northern ocean, sailors whisper whisper tales of an ancient ruin, one unlike any other. Sailors, you say? A uh, sailors, I say. A strange yeah. dwemer machine that sits far out in the ocean, overlooking the far shores of Skyrim. And while the sailors tell these tales, history tells another. Deep within that ruin lies the last endeavors of the great lord of Blackreach. It says that Mazark, ruler of everything under Skyrim's mountains, left behind wonders untouched for thousands of years, watched over by a group of strange sentient machines who even now seek a worthy adventure to help them fulfil their purpose and claim the lost wonders of Mazark. So this is amazing. Look at look at this interior. This is fantastic. That's pretty full on. I like it. I'm not sure. Oh, let's try. Is that that's where we came in? So yeah. no. Is there any switches here? I reckon this is going to be quite puzzle heavy by the looks of things. Let's try yeah. this door up here. So we uh, seem to have the enemies you encounter entities. within must be disposed of in careful ways, and you'll find more than just fights Ooh. awaiting you in the depths of Mazunamez. So we have a journal here that I found on that guy, and a button. Whoa! Lights are on. Oh wow. Ooh, this is all very cool. Started the Lost Wonders. Oh! Whoa. Who is Mazar? I've always said, Seb, that Skyrim needs more big blue talking heads. I, I, not a day goes by that you don't come into the office and say that. <laughs> That's true. It's getting old, isn't it? Uh, it says it features four new quests that span several hours of gameplay. They're fully voiced and scripted and based around puzzles and hidden items. Mm. An enormous new non-linear dungeon, Mazunamez, filled with wondrous Dwemer contraptions. Huge Brilliant. foundries and robots, mine shafts, submarine bays, and vaults await within Mazark's greatest creation. Man, this sounds awesome. Yeah, I liked how when you played Skyrim, um, the Wimmer stuff was really quite mysterious, but it almost felt like it was a little bit underused. So this quest could be could be wonderful if it really explores that. Ah, oh, see, that just opened up there. Oh, another dead thingy. Dead. Oh, Estelle. Estelle, no! No! My favorite of the... My favorite musician. Psychics. All right, well, I think I rather than... turn up the... On oh, God. God. Turn that down. A, a red hologram. Turn into it. <laughs> oh god, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Form of red hologram. So you can play this game, so long being a pirate. Oh. I'm, I'm a hawker. And where did you start? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, well, this is um the Lost Wonders of Mazark. Um feel free to, to 
download this and give it a try. It looks awesome, and you can fight. You two can fight these really weird red hologram guys dressed as a pirate if you like. <laughs> Run, we Kevin Van Norden. We recommend the pirate. Bit. Yeah, the feathers Absolutely. really help. All right, Seb. Mod number five, final mod of today, is simply called Skyrim Chess. Skyrim Chess. Now, huh? if you enable the mod, if you go in your white run, you'll see this new marker. Oh, Skyrim Chess. Let's fast travel there. Come to this place here. Huh? Gary's Island. All right. Yeah, let's go that? there. Let's portal to there. Here we are. What? This is an island. Where is it on the map? Oh, it's in a new in the Skyrim. Of, in the middle of That's nowhere. Weird. Uh, another dimension. Let's say. Come over here. Ah, let's start a new game. Turn around. Oh, Here are our PCs. very good. Now, the way in which you decide where they move is okay. a little bit complicated. As you can see here, these columns are A to H, so that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, etc. So that way. Yeah. And the rows are 1 to 8. Okay. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc. Okay, so if, if I want this guy to move, he's a pawn. If I want him to move 2 forward, mm -hmm. okay, that would be A, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you could say A and 4. And if it's one he can go to, he'll move. And then you have to come to this side, and you do the same with this guy, and you go. But if I give him an invalid command of D3, he just doesn't do anything and growls at me. Oh, okay, I see. I'm just going to try a few of the other PCs. Um, so this bear is a rook, but I'm going to move him to A3 right behind that guy. All right. Do it. <laughs> Don't come to me, there you idiot. It totally works. And he's just oh, down. He's adorable. Genius. Okay, your move. Queen, go to G. This... It seems like a slow way to make make progress. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. This would be a really dumb move in chess, by the way. But yes, it would. It's extremely dumb. Oh, just Whoa. zapped him. Yeah, take that. You need to move there, though. Okay, uh, yeah, he does. Or she does. King to D2. Oh, at least my guy fights back. Yay! Oh, oh no! I killed your queen! Oh no! I lose! Yeah! It works. It definitely it, works. It, it works in the way that like the slowest game of chess in the world might yeah. work. But yeah, why not? If, you, if your dream was to play chess in Skyrim using these PCs, then then you know that dream is is answered. And the good news is that's a very easy one. You can just subscribe to on the Steam Workshop as well. It's uh, by Sixcell. All right, chicken time. 100 chickens. Boom. All right, let me annoy a guard. Got him. Shout, shout, shout. We are a chicken. We're a chicken amongst chickens. How do you know which one we are? We're We've the one with the arrow through the head. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, hit a chicken. Kill a chicken. We take any of them, any of them. Take any of them with us. Run into the crowd. Chickens. We're out of chickens. Oh, for... Yeah! Oh, we're a chicken flying sideways. <laughs> Oh, God. Eventually it worked. We didn't go in the sky, though. Oh, man. Oh, God. Make me Kevin Van Nord again. There we go. Morphin. Morphin. No, I think we're stuck as a chicken. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think we're stuck as a chicken forever, Seb. Chicken forever. Oh, well, I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.